Hi guys, I have had a couple requests to kind of give a tour of my home. So I'm gonna do that so you could get a little glimpse of where I live and I wanna take you like where I do my podcasts and where I type and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna just walk you around my house on this live stream since I'm already kind of in the live stream mode today from our summertime video and since I'm fairly tidy today, but my big one is my husband isn't home so I don't look so corny walking around the house talking to myself into my phone. So I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna start in my family room, which is one of my favorite rooms. So I'll kind of do family room and kitchen here. And I'll go back and forth and turn because I don't even know how to see comments on this. So I apologize ladies, but I'll get to your comments even um, afterwards. I'll take a peek after I film it if I miss it because I'm not really good with that. So hopefully I will stay connected and do this. So here is my family room, which I love. We are oak, I have no white woodwork and I just don't even have the desire to change it. But we are, um, I love that ladder. I bought that at um, Magnolia when I was there in February. So that's like one of my favorite things, that blanket ladder. But this is my family room and we've had these couches like a zillion years and I love them. They have just been the best. There's my backyard that's been devastated. We had a really wooded lot and now I don't have a wooded lot. Um, because all the trees are gone. So we're working on, we have a, a contractor coming in to help us put some lawn in and some little more trees for privacy. Uh, there is somebody behind us, but with the woods filled in, it helps a little bit. So, and my grandbabies are gonna come over and swim in that pool today. There's my little bird feeders that I need to fill up today desperately and my window feeder, which my, this little girl right here really loves my window feeder. So that's kind of fun. And that's really, this is, oh, let's go this way. So this is my view from my family room into my kitchen. And this is a favorite piece of, I love this bookcase. That's just a favorite. I hopefully my kids will love this stuff when I'm gone. If not, it's all gone. And then this is for Miranda, if she, and or when she watches this. This is my mug cupboard. So this is, I call this my coffee bar and I love this. That's my little print I put up. So I think that's so cool. That's kind of fun. Oh, Karina, I can see comments this way. I love this. Thank you. I love my windows, Karina. I do really enjoy that. So these are all my coffee mugs, which I just, <laughs> and tea mugs. And it's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? There's my Just Thinking podcast one, and there's my Thankful Homemaker mug. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite coffee machine. This is my spoil one. This is what makes me feel like I'm a coffee snob because I love I love my Jura. That's a favorite machine. So this one's regular coffee. I'm going to show you how spoiled I am and show you my decaf coffee one. So I kind of shared with that today. <clears throat> so this is, um, actually, there's my wall of my babies. It's kind of fun. Just our family one. And then that's, I love that sign. It's a little crooked, but and this is my library. I call the library. It used to be our living room. We used to have a sofa and stuff in here, but now we just did the, the wall bookcases, which I love. And this is my hubby and I usually sit here to study and read. And this is usually where I do my quiet time in the morning. I'll either sit here or I'll sit, I sit in the chair closer to the window. Actually, the cat chair is where my husband usually sits. So it's kind of funny that she favors his chair. The ceiling's kind of cool. A lady, I don't know if you could see that in there. Well, years ago when we built, we built this house. We've been here over 25 years now. So a lady did that ceiling for me when, um, when we moved in. I just haven't had the heart to take it. My son and my daughter are piano players. My son a little more than my Amber. And this is where I write. This is kind of fun. We just did this last year, and I love it. I had um, a little desk upstairs in a guest room, and my husband's like, why don't we move it down here? And I, this is where I sit, and I write, and I love it. It's just been a sweet little nook for me, so I really appreciate that. Plus, I can kind of see out the window, which this is now the front yard. So I'm kind of coming into my foyer. Um, I love the stairs. I love my pictures. One day I'd love to get rid of the carpeting, but that's down the road. This is our, this is the yard. So we're just major renovating through here. These trees are gorgeous. I love them. I'm going to step outside really quick because it's such a pretty day today. I love the big trees though, but this area there, we just cut a bunch of trees out in this section. So that's been kind of, that's been kind of fun to redo. We're going to add some more pine trees through there. Um, but that's it. And actually, I can take you and show you back. What well, I'm just, while I'm moving, I can come back at it and show you the front of the house. And that's kind of fun. We have a mulch pile out here to still work through. Let's see. So that's the garage. And then I come across the house. And 
Now I'm going to go back inside. See, if my husband was home, he would be like, what are you doing walking around talking to yourself? And I'm like, I'm not talking to myself. I can see Jennifer and Karina and Rhonda. I can see people. So I'm not totally alone. <laughs> so I'm coming back in. Um, I used to sell for a company called Mary and Martha. So I have a lot of their stuff in my house from back in the day. Um, let me close that. So this is looking towards the library now when you come in. Just kind of fun. So this is the foyer, and then we go. It's a pretty traditional layout, and then we go into the dining room. Um, my husband and I just painted this. We did a lot of painting rooms over this COVID, over the quarantine time, so we got a lot of inside work done. There's my decaf old coffee machine. My father-in-law bought me my other one in my family room, and then this is our old one that my husband has repaired 150 times. I love that map. That's a favorite. And this is kind of sweet. That's my grandma and my grandpa. And I just love those. <laughs> They're just little old photos that are so cute. So now we come into my kitchen and this is one of those, like I'm sure all of us is on my list to redo one day. I'd love to get rid of those cabinets over that and just bring the counter to one level and make a, just a big island here. But it's one of those things we dream about. Um, this is our kitchen table. Trying to see how do I there we go. Uh, this is the backyard. Actually, my daughter's gonna bring the babies over today. So I'm in that area there where we sit. Let me peek out. That's probably my favorite, is right under there to just sit and hang. And that gazebo is just a little screened in sitting room. It's not anything fabulous. But I will be excited to get the backyard finished. That'll be kind of fun. My husband loves to, he probably sits out here more than I do in the mornings. He loves it. And then this is just a little screened in sitting room. So it's kind of fun. It's an old one. It's very old. This we did when we built, right when we built that next summer. That's my little sheep, my little metal sheep out there. My baby's named it Gertie. So I'm going to stick with it. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Gosh, I get like the option to bring you guys on camera. That would be kind of fun. I don't even know how to do that. That's kind of cool though. So we're back to family room and dining room. Should I, when I'm done here, do you guys, do you want to go upstairs? I don't even know. This is my hallway leading towards my laundry room. So uh, quite a few years ago now, I think in 2005, we added onto our house. My husband brought his office home. So this used to be my laundry room, but now it's my, we've turned it into literally a walk-in pantry. So I have my bookcases, my pots. I've got, ladies, I was like longer burger basket queen years ago. So I kind of utilize um, the baskets for, Oh my gosh, it's like the snack basket. That's disgusting. All right. And then, <laughs> then all this, that's my like to-go coffee maker. How ridiculous is that? Um, it's my travel coffee maker. <laughs> Obviously, I have a coffee issue. Miranda will appreciate that. And then this is now our laundry room. This used to be kind of an old den sitting room, but now it's been converted. When we had my son home, it was part homeschool room. My babies, my grandbabies called this the craft area. And then this is my um, where my washer and dryer are. So, and I use those 31 bags for my baskets, which I really love. That's kind of fun. And then when we added on, this used to be my garage, but we added on and made this a mud room, which is kind of cool. So um, my lights are flickering there, but this is where we enter into the garage. And don't you love the masks hanging there? That'll be memorable, huh? And then this is the other part of our backyard, just off the deck. We just have a lower patio down there. And then I do have a walk-in kind of closet, so I keep all my junk in here, like shoes and coats and paper towels and all that good stuff, which is kind of fun. And my hubby and I did something new, and they're all crooked, and we just, I got to fix this, but I'm going to, so the blank ones are going to have pictures of us on vacation at all the different national parks. So we've traveled to 21 national parks over the course of our life with the kiddos. So we found just the cutest little posters and frames and did that. And then in the other ones, I wanna put that, um, just put pictures of us and the kids at the different parks. So that's taking me a long time to get to. Oh, thank you, Karina. I do, I the walk-in pantry and laundry room, that has been, these are my favorites. I This has been my favorite part of the redo. So when I take you into my husband's office, which is here, we both work from home here. This used to be the garage that we're going into. So we converted this to office space for him. And I love this. So when he's home, I say you find him here, but normally you don't. He's usually sitting at that table in the living room when I came in. But this is, this is the office. We have some work we want to do in here yet. 
this is this is where I do my podcast. This is the computer I use, and actually I've shared it before. It's just that microphone. So that's what does it, and I love that. And Doug, he edits them back here for me and everything. So it's kind of fun. So this then that door just goes out to the garage too. So just like the other door. So sometimes, especially if he's got a client or somebody coming in, it's kind of nice. He can bring them through the garage and bring them right into the office, and he really likes that. So he sits there, and I sit there. That's my desk. I'm much more cluttered than he is. He's very organized. I'm not so organized, <laughs> so I have to work really hard at it. <laughs> I'm going to take you upstairs, and we can kind of take a walk upstairs. All right, this is my favorite apron. This was a blessings one back in the day, Mary and Martha. I don't even know if they make that one anymore, but I love that apron. Um, you know, these things, do you ever see those ads for mixed tiles? That's what those are. And I love them. I did, um, I did them over here. I have to show you my favorite one because it's kind of fun. Well, they're all my favorites. I love that one of my daughter. This is really my favorite one though. I love her little face, my little Olivia Grace. I call her sweetie pie face, but look at that pout face. But those mixed tiles, they're pretty cool. I mean, they're not, they're not ultra high quality, but I was able to move them and position them. I was a little leery. You know, you see the ads on, TV, on the Facebook thing, and I'm like, hmm, does it really work that way? This is our downstairs powder room, so that's really it. Look, wait, there's me. There's me. <laughs> and then we're going to go upstairs. So I have a lot of guest rooms, which have now been converted to grandbaby rooms. Let's see. Walking up the stairs, but my only exercise for today, I think. This was our this was our kids' bath. I like the curtain. It's it's old. I really there's a lot of bathroom. Our bathrooms and kitchen need updating and we're we're getting there. But right now our yard is taking up a lot of our um extra cash at the moment. This is my um this is really a guest room. It was my son's room, but it's just a guest room right now. I love that print. That was an old Pottery Barn Teen one, which is kind of cool. And then this is this is kind of the guest room. Look at me, I'm like out of breath from walking up the stairs. I probably do need to move. This is, this is my guest room where if somebody comes to stay with me, I would put them. Like my brother comes in a few weeks and he'll stay here. And I, I love that. So, and actually I do. So like Karina, you were in the, the Bible study. This is where I filmed the study when, or the, the live stream for the Bible study. I just kind of set up here. And this is sort of my little prayer desk. So it kind of has my prayer journals and stuff. So when I really want to close the door and pray, I just come up here. It's sort of like my private prayer closet. I love that. And then this is my granddaughter's room. My grandson kind of usually ends up staying in my son's old room, but um, my granddaughters get this room. So it's kind of fun. It's got the old little Disney pins that we had back in the day. And then um, they love their little, what do they call them? It's those marshmallow creature things. but And it's kind of sweet because the furniture's old. It was my daughter's when she was home. So it's seen it's seen a lot of years. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. But I love the Winnie the Pooh prints. And then this is this is our room. And we're um this is probably our this is probably our next project. So I talked about wanting to redo when we do anything, we really want to get to our bathroom. But this is our bedroom. We face the front of the house. So that's kind of fun. It's my hubbies. Actually, this is funny. You'll appreciate this. So my daughter, <clears throat> she she wasn't homeschooled, but my son was. And this is right here is when we started homeschooling him. He has no pictures. I need to work on that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that's kind of funny. So this is our um, this is our bathroom. This is what I want to change because that's just just really bad. So one day, but it works for now. So we just have a tub and a shower. Um, that's it. And then our fireplace, which I love. This was my husband's idea. It's a see-through fireplace through both sides, and it is kind of sweet. And it's on a remote, so it's really kind of sweet. That's a good old Terry Redland print that I really enjoy. And then I still have another bookcase around the corner because, goodness, can you just not store enough books? This is my nightstand, and that's my hubby's side of the bed. I love my chairs up here. That's been kind of a, a sweet thing. So that's it. I'm going to take you back downstairs with me, and I'm going to turn it around really quick here. I'm going to walk down fast, and then I'm going to be out of breath again. <laughs> so it's good. <laughs> I've wanted to do that for a little bit because the ladies have asked, and it is kind of fun. I love seeing people's homes, so I just enjoy that. Like, I could watch videos like that forever. So, gosh, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging here. I'll post it in the group, and it'll just be there forever now. And 
Did I miss anything? I don't know. Our basement's finished, but I'm not gonna go down there. It's got a toy room and a workout room. Um, what else do we have? We have like a, um, a movie theater down there, which is kind of fun though. We do have, years ago when the kids were home, we just put a big screen and um, just a projector down there to watch movies. So that's it. I love you all. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.